Hello, I'm Pastor Matt Tricker of the Jerusalem Baptist Church, and I'd just like to take a few moments to share with you how powerful the Lord Jesus Christ is. Because all around the world, there are people who are getting involved with voodoo, whether it's in Togo or Benin, Haiti, Jamaica, the USA, or right here in the United Kingdom. You know, even down in Cardiff, one man burnt his house down, believing that it was under a voodoo curse. In London, the police have been looking into the whole issue of, 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 of a ritualistic killing that involved voodoo in a warehouse in East London. And I want to say that the Lord Jesus Christ has the power to set men and women, boys and girls, free from the power of voodoo. And you might say, what does a white man know about voodoo? Well, I'll share this with you. When I was a child, I would go with my father. He would do some building work, and I would go and play in this big old farmhouse. It was huge. And the people who owned the farmhouse would go traveling all around the world. And one day, they brought back some items to do with voodoo. Uh, and I played with them a as a child. And without realizing it, I put voodoo curses on myself. When I decided to follow the Lord Jesus Christ, I could not stay in a church service. I would have to hide in the toilets or I'd run out of the building. And then one day, some Christian brothers came to pray with me. And I began to share with them a few things that I'd been involved in. And they highlighted to me that voodoo was not right for the Christian. I didn't know it was right, wrong at the time, until the Spirit of God convicted me. So I decided to repent of voodoo. I went to apologize to Christ for practicing, for just innocently messing about with voodoo items. And as I went to say sorry to the Lord, it was like something had taken hold of my throat, and I could not say the name of Jesus. I was asking, I asked the Lord for help, and I said, Lord, I am so sorry for playing with voodoo items. And at that point, it was like a bolt of lightning shot right down through my body, and I could feel chains literally snapping off of my chest, snapping off of my body, as the Lord Jesus Christ set me free. The Apostle John said, for this purpose, Christ has come to destroy the works of the evil one. Many today live in fear from voodoo and from witchcraft, from contacting the spirits. And I testify to you that Jesus Christ defeated all the evil spirits at the cross of Calvary and has the power to set you free. I went through a period of time where the spirits would come into my room at night, they would shake me, they would shake my bed, they would pull my arms and my legs and cause much fear. And then one day when there was such paralyzing fear in my bedroom, I thought the name of Jesus. Then I could whisper the name of Jesus Christ. And then I could speak out the name of Jesus. And I eventually jumped out of my bed, moved towards the spirit of fear, and told it to be gone in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, my friends, there is power in the name of Jesus. Every demon, every evil spirit knows that they were defeated on the glorious cross of Calvary. Because Christ came to set captives free. If you're living in fear of voodoo, or of juju, or witchcraft, or whatever you may be into, let me tell you, the only way out is by confessing your sin to Jesus, accepting His forgiveness, turning away from voodoo, burning any items that have been used in rituals, and reading the Word of God. Ask the Lord Jesus to fill you with the power of His Holy Spirit. Seek out genuine Christians who believe the Word of God and love the Lord Jesus Christ and are full of His love and grace.
If they're genuine, they won't ask you for money if they pray for you. They won't ask you to sleep with them if they're genuine and they love the Lord because they'll be walking in the holiness of God. So I just wanted to make this short little video to say that Jesus Christ can set you free, my friends, from the power of voodoo. Whether you're in this country or in Haiti or Jamaica or Togo or Benin, Cardiff or London, Jesus Christ can set you free. Thank you.